Hi, we're talking with Nola Tressler from First Crest, Washington. She's the current exhibiting artist for the Lieutenant Governor's Art Council at, uh, in the legislative building, Lieutenant Governor's office. Hi, Nola. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing just great. Good. Welcome to the office of Lieutenant Governor Owen, and we're certainly glad to have your art here. How, uh, can you describe your art a little bit and tell us about it and the special meaning behind your 911 exhibit? Well, I'm not bound by any medium, and actually the medium that I did for the 911 series is a clay and tempera monoprints. And they are, you put it on a bed of clay and you paint with tempera that has slip in it. Mm -hmm. And you use some of the tempera powders and stuff that are thrown on it. It's painted on the clay, dug into the clay, dried, and then a commercial filtration paper, which is like Pellon, mm -hmm. is put over it. And actually, I had a hard time getting some of the fil uh, commercial filtration paper after the first one, so two of them are on Pellon, three of them are on the commercial filtration paper. Okay. Uh, you're painted, then it's, uh, the paper is laid over it, you lightly spray the, the painted surface, lay the paper down, and burnish it. What I like to burnish it was with a big wide bamboo spoon, rice spoon, mm -hmm. and then you pull it up, and if not enough has come up, then you keep doing that. It's kind of like a little dance with the water and the paint because you can't just wet it. It will just smear all over. So it's kind of down burnishing, put in a little more water, burnishing it again, pulling it up to see if you've got enough of the paint. Wow, but as I went through the series, what I found, after I did the first one, the first one I did in a class mm -hmm. uh, with uh, a professor of ceramics from the University of Idaho and actually we were doing a brush making class. Mm -hmm. And he showed us this monoprint process, which I had done monoprints, but not this type of clay and temper monoprint. And I just, we, it was a month after 9-11, and we were all talking about 9-11, and how sad we were, and how hurt we were. We had about 20 minutes, because there were only two uh, clay slabs and 20 people in the class. And mine were hearts, because we were talking, and I, I was saying my heart was broken. It was bruised, it was shaken, it was broken. And uh, knowing what had happened, um, not only in New York, but Washington, D.C., at the Pentagon, and in the air. And so after that class, it took about six months to do the rest. I went out, that's why they're different sizes, because I went out mm -hmm. and made my own clay bed. And it just kept coming to me. And as I went along, the colors changed. And because I don't plan anything, I just kind of do it. And I noticed by the time I got to the fourth one that actually the colors were showing colors of grief. And as we went through grief, and the first one, the stunned, kind of shaken, bruised. And then the second one where we're, we're still a little stunned, but we're a little frustrated and a little anger. The red is showing a little anger, and that is coming to showing hurt and loss. The third one introduces a little more green and red, invoking feelings of hurt and anger and frustration. By the time we get to the fourth one, we're starting to see the brown, still has a little blue and brown because we're still hurt underneath, but it's introducing a little purple, which means it's showing the signs of healing. And when I got to the last one, which I did not know it was going to be the last one, but it went to a different, uh, it went uh, horizontal instead of uh, vertical. And when I look, got done with it, I looked, I said, that looks like, not, that looks like ground zero. And the, the hearts kind of changed their shape. They looked more like ghost hearts, which means they were releasing. We were releasing. And more purple in there. So to me, that was the end mm -hmm. is for this series. And when I looked at it all, that also was the end of how we never forget. We still hold the hurt, but we have to let go. And as you go through any kind of grief, these are the stages that you go through. So that's what I feel, and I introduce the viewer to see what they feel. Okay, very good. Well, thank you very much, Nola, mm -hmm. and uh, we hope thank that people will come and enjoy the exhibit and uh, ask questions, and uh, uh, thank you very much for your time and for displaying in the office of Lieutenant You're very Governor. You're welcome. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.